<laughs> but definitely, uh, well, actually, what, who we have here right now, Ruthie Carter, the costume designer. Hi, Hi. Ruth. Hello, so how are you? So excited to see you. Same, same. We are finally here. Yay. Can you believe it? I mean, I feel like I've been counting down the minutes, the hours, the seconds. Uh. Well, that doesn't surprise me because you are so into the details as a costume designer, it would make sense you're breaking it down that way. Thank you. Well, you know, it's all in the details. That's how I think people can like it, relate and enjoy and pick it apart. You know, those cosplayers, those fans, they ain't playing. You better bring it. Right? Yeah. Well, and Ruth, <laughs> speaking of those cosplayers, you know, you are creating iconic looks with this film, putting your stamp on these characters. Okay. How does that feel? Oh, well, it feels like that now that you're asking me that. Yeah. But then <laughs> it felt like, you know, look, you better get to that deadline, girl. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, what's beautiful about the piece is that we were all collective uh, in creating it. We talked a lot. We had a lot of meetings about it. So we all had a shorthand in a way because we all knew what we, each other was doing. There was a manual to follow. You know, it, it really felt like a good group of, you know, creative minds working together. And you can really see that synergistic vision on screen because it does really feel like an entirely new world that we get to visit. For you, what was the coolest piece of research that you uncovered while you were doing this or the coolest imagery that you were most excited about? Oh, I love the Maasai tribe. You know, the beads, the stacked beads on the neck, the Indabele tribe with the rings and, you know, with the Dora wear. So I kept going back to it. I love the Tuareg. I mean, there's so many, like, tribes in this that I, like, fell in love with. I couldn't love with. I couldn't stop looking at them, the Himba women and their, their shea butter. I mean, we were all over the continent, so there's so it's so easy to translate this uh, cultural experience into a futuristic model. Yeah. But yeah. Speaking about that, what was important for you to, you know, bringing this from the comic book page to the screen, and especially Wakanda, this, you know, advanced African nation, what was it important for you to convey in the uh, costuming? It was important for me to learn first, mm. because, you know, people who have followed the Black Panther, they know everything about it. So my first step was to learn as much as I could about vibranium and, you know, all of those things that I could infuse in the design of it and really sort of follow the lead of, of Marvel, of Ryan, of Hannah, because they had actually been on a lot long, so they really had it kind of figured out in some ways. And so when I got there, it was easy to sort of infuse. It wasn't easy. I, I take that back. <laughs> it felt seamless. Sure. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done. Very good. I like that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by. I know You're you've got welcome. a busy night ahead thank of yourself. Thank you. I'm so excited about the film. I cannot stand it. Congratulations. Thank you so much Thanks for talking for to the fans. Awesome. All right. Take care. Uh, such a thrill to get to talk to her. So